Good evening, everyone. Key speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on X Summon Future Digibyte OG. So, as you guys can see, we've had a few things start pumping. But before we go there, please do me a favor on the Swing Traders Anonymous and hit that like button. Help me try to get this video to 100 likes. I have a 100 like challenge on this video. I know this channel doesn't get as many views. But let's get this video to 100 likes and be the first video ever on this channel to get to 100 likes, as far as I know. Help me move through the analytics. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Or if you're interested in looking at my XRP Future Millionaire page and get more updates like this after I'm off my one week suspension because I tell too much truth. So we'll just make sure to focus on the important stuff. But still, if you want to listen to the real, if you want someone real, you found the right place. Um, hit that subscribe button to my XRP Future Millionaire as well. You can find that link for that and also my Twitter in the video description. If you want to donate or join Tom's Army over on the other channel for Tom's Army, you can always hit that and help support the cause. I do all my content for free. Obviously, it helps with the generosity from all of you. And that's my partnered page over there, so go check it out. So, what we got going on here... And also, don't forget to hit that bell notification. Oh, no, even though YouTube doesn't care about notifying you, make sure to turn that to all. So, but what we got going on right now, XRP, as you can see, is almost back up to $1.30. So, that's why I said yesterday when it was at $1.23. is such a good buying spot. It really was. That was a double bottom on $1.23 twice in two separate daily candles. It hit it. So, that's not just a 10-minute, 5-minute. That's two 24-hour periods where it proved that that was fucking beautiful support. So now we take it down into a lower time frame. And now, like I said, when it was down at $1.09, uh, $1.16, $1.23, I believe our next move would get up to, you know, the top part of the move would be up at $1.35. And then, I don't want the fucking icon on yeah, there's well, I mean, I want it on there, but that's not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to draw a horizontal line. So, once it gets to $1.35, and presumably, and I bring it into the one minute, because this is what I'm waiting for. It's at $1.29. You know, just a straight 3 4 5% move. Just not... You know, I'm, I'm expecting something like... And then it can, you know, who knows? 138 140 Once you get 135 who knows? We just need a daily close, like I've been telling you. We need to get over a dollar thirty. The closer to a dollar thirty-five, the better. Well, let's be real. If it's over a dollar thirty, the likelihood is you're gonna hit a dollar thirty-five and beyond. But if you do get a daily close on XRP, and let's say in three hours and thirty-six minutes, XRP, right? XRP is sitting like this. We're like, okay, XRP's had a good day. And all of a sudden, we start seeing this. It can get up, then it comes back down. Well, I mean, not today. Fuck. Let me delete this. because So, here's the 135 line. But we also have the 130 line. So, today, we start doing this. And then we come back down. Then we come back up. Then we come back. You know, if we start playing a game here before 8 o'clock, to where right now, it's acting as resistance. Because we need to be on the top side of it for it to act as support. But if we start coming over the top of it enough times, then all of a sudden we bounce up and then we just start staying here. You know, and then it's like, and then every time it goes under, it comes back up. That's what I mean. Every time it breaks down, so now it's starting to use it as support. No matter if it comes way down, no matter if it goes way up a little bit, that's your support area. Right now it's using this area as resistance, this dollar thirty especially. It just, no matter, even if it gets up a little bit, it just comes right back through. We want it to come up, come through a little bit, come back, and then go back up. We don't want it to stay below for another stretch like this. So ideally, if this is the line, we want this to bounce up and then start doing this. You know, on the line. We want to do exactly what it's doing up a couple of cents. Even if it's at $1.30, 1.30012. You know, as long as it's on that side and it comes down, goes up, comes... We're trying to play the line, not prove that it's constant resistance right here. The way I feel about this line right now was like the Doge line at 31 cents. If we can just break over $1.30 and get to the top side, now we can make the move. Doge finally did that, and it's trying to have a close at 31.1. It's so important. But all day today, it was in the 29 cent range. And then all of a sudden, it bounced off of there. 
And this is in the one minute. I came on literally right before that happened too. Because it's all coiled up and I it, no doubt in my mind, now we're trying to make 31 cents and now you see what I'm talking about. This is what I'm trying to get XRP to do. See how this is gonna bounce around here for a little bit it looks like? That's what we want because now it's gonna try to play this line. Before we couldn't even get over it because there was too much resistance. So watch Doge. Let's try to get a close at 31.1. That would be huge. If we get a close at 31.1, the sky's the limit. You know, after the close, it could skyrocket it and propel it. We don't have a futures open tonight, so we have extra time to run because it's a holiday weekend. The stock market, U.S. stock market, isn't open tomorrow. So Bitcoin futures, you're not going to be able to see until tomorrow night. And look at Bitcoin, about to push 51,000. We need to break, for the record... Oh, man. I hope that doesn't come into a head and shoulders. No, it's still got a little bit of room. So, but for the record with Bitcoin, I'm going to show you why this is so important, and then I'll let you guys go. But we much needed a big update. And it sucks that I don't have my XRP Future Millionaire page, but, you know, let's be appreciative of what we have here. And also how quickly things can be taken away from us. So let's, uh, let's all have a good vibe when that channel goes back up and no more bullshit. In the chat... You know, let's just let's just do what we got to do, make the money we need to make, and change lives for each and every one of us. Whether you like XRP or not, or if you like Doge, or if you like Theta. Speaking of Theta, <laughs> wow, we're speaking of Theta. How did everybody like that call from six dollars and uh, seventy-one cents on Swing Traders Anonymous? And then seven dollars and twenty-four cents if you didn't get it. I told you again, you got to buy it now. So a lot of people were very happy with Theta. I told you, I would have either been in Theta, DGB, even HBAR, I had a thing, or Doge. And like everybody's like, oh, you sold, you chose Doge, you moron. I got that a lot. Tom, how could you pick Doge over all this, you dummy? It's like, okay, well, let's see before you call me a dummy. Granted, it doesn't look as flashy. It's only gone from 27.7 to what, 31? I'm not feeling too bad, 12.25% right now. So yeah, it hasn't done it all at once, but I've gotten 12.25% in, what, five whole days, six days? And that's not even close to where I want to go. But the point is, is we're starting to move up now. How many bars is that? Yeah, we're up like five days and 17 hours if you go based on this roughly. I've had this. I've had it for 34 bars on the four hour. Holy hell. See, I'm growing, I told you guys. And now, since I already know what's gonna happen, I'm just gonna trust myself. I know it's coming up here. I don't, it doesn't matter to me anymore. I just know. It's gonna at least come up to 34 cents. Finish this cup as it drew itself out. I didn't even have to do it. Ah, that's okay. Cause we don't need all those zones now. So, this is good because now you guys can see exactly what we need to do. So, right now, I have to put 27.7 because that's my buy zone. So, I like to have it there. And I always put it at the top of the, the, the penny or the tenth of a penny. So, then we have my sell zone before was 28.6. If it got down there, then I was going to sell it because it went the opposite way. And then we we're going to have a, could have still been a bullish touchdown, but it probably would have went to 25 cents. And I don't want to be a part of that. So, then we got our 29.1. So, I'm going to take off that 28.6. I don't need that anymore. But 29.1 was a huge support zone. And you guys know we touched it a couple times after we closed over 27.7. And that's what signaled me to buy when we had that double bottom close at 27.7. I, I bought it. Right when that happened, I bought it. And then we're going to say the 0 .301 because that's a huge one. Now that we're up higher in the zones, I don't want to, I don't want to flood it up in here, but then you got 31.1. And then this is a big one right here, ladies and gentlemen. If you're on those, 33.5, then obviously this is big at 35.2. But then if we can get past there, I know it sounds like a lot, but sometimes they just bust through levels. Then you got 38. And I'm looking at the ultimate up here to finish the inverted cup and handle 
up here at point four four. That's what I'm looking at on the inverted head and shoulders that we've covered for a long time. And I told you guys, if those, or if Bitcoin could somehow run to fifty-two thousand, look out! Like it's, it seems like everything's setting up. And it pushed so many people out the last few days. Some people would say you'd have to be a fool to still be in it. XLM, 39.1. Just, I, I feel like it was just hours ago when I came on and I said, it retraced yesterday and hit that support beautifully and it's primed for a run. It did too. If you look at it, how it came down yesterday. Let me go into the 15. Somewhere back here. I think it touched. Did it, I don't think it came all the way down though. Yeah, but it did actually. Wow. So yeah, it touched the 36.5 support yesterday. And I told you guys that was a fucking beautiful spot to buy it. And just off that bounce off support, that's 8.5%. But we were talking about getting in on farther than that down even. I mean, there's been so many chances to get an XLM that I've tried. But right there is when we talked about it. It had a firm double bottom at 33 cents. So if you would have bought it down there, that's the same time I bought Doge. When it was down here. So I told you guys, when it had the close, we had the double bottom. Then we had a close up here. And you could have waited to 35.1. That would have been a true signal. So from 35.1... You're at 12.55%, but if you would have did it at the true double bottom on the close, like up here, you'd have been up like 16, 17% on uh, XLM right now. DGB, I came out as well when it made that double bottom at 6.2 and told you to buy it, retrace down to 6.3 and I came out, I'm like, if it wasn't for Doge, I would be in DGB because I have a feeling it's going to go way up there to my yellow line. But I'm not going to go from one thing to the other because then you start doing it on emotion and then it doesn't help anybody. But even just the right here, 13.82%. So about what I'm up on those. I would have been up on DGB. So there were, all the ones I said, there was not a, there was a can't, there was no can't misses. There were can't misses, I should say. And then I came on with Bob. Voila, Tom, I'm feeling good. I can't believe you're right again. Bob, shut up. I'm not even on my right station. Well, uh, Tom, I better get out of here before your audience goes away here, too, because you suck. Bob, I, they didn't go away. I got suspended. Well, I'd suspend you, too. It's about time. Thanks for the support, Bob. Well, uh, Tom, I'm just joking, but uh, how much higher do you think each bar can go? I'm not telling you, Bob. But no, Bob bought it. He came on, and I told you, at 25, 26, 27 cents. It's popping. It's ready to explode. And this was the one that made it the hardest for me was H-Bar. It was right here at fucking 25 cents when I bought those. Right about here. And I'm like, I know this is going to go up. I know it. And it's H-Bar. So it had a lot. I like H-Bar. So I definitely, just based on that, I could have flipped it in the doge. But again, you start talking about the in and out piece, transferring it. But 21 cents on H-Bar so far for fucking Bob. Voila, Tom! I'm gonna go. Thank you, my dumb douchebag of a host. I'm a host. I'm not your host. Walla Tom, will you quit being so damn sensitive? All right, Bob, will you just leave me alone? Jesus. Isn't it bad enough YouTube suspending me? Walla Tom, actually, that is kind of frustrating. Why is that, Bob? Well, I went to watch the station. I have no idea where you're at. Well, how'd you find me here? Walla, it says you're here. All right, Bob, will you... So, Bob, real quick while you're here, what do you think Bitcoin's going to do? Well, uh, you know, the run guys are telling me it's going to go to like 150000 Maybe I shouldn't sell my H-Bar. Well, Bob will take it one daily candle at a time. Who knows? One day it might get to 150000 but not not in this current run, my friend. Well, uh, Tom, I'm not going to stop listening to you now, for Christ's sake. Look how much money I'm making. All right, Bob, have a good night. So... That's basically the gist of it. We needed a big update. Bob was bored. It, uh, let's see. We talked about XDC and the Swing Traders. If you didn't check that out, check that video out. I know it was a Swing Traders Anonymous title. 
But at 13.9, I said it looks like it's getting ready to go, and now it's up to 14.2. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it's good to be on that side of it. And then, I mean, we've talked about a lot. Amp, we talked about how I felt like it was going to get ready to go, and now it's starting to actually move. So I know a lot of you guys were in it when it was in that tight consolidation. XCM I talked about on my Swing Traders Anonymous. It was one of our swing trades. And it was at the firm double bottom at 19 cents. And I put it out for that swing trade alert. And if you would have been in there on that. I mean, that's the one that I wish I could buy. I mean, I have a, I really do have an affliction with this one. XCM. I used to talk about it on this channel. But I talked about it and had it as a swing trade. On my Swing Traders Anonymous. And it's up 20% since that time. So, it's hit some fucking home runs. Nothing better than AGI. And Sniper, this is why I said I thought it could hit 60 cents. I told you if Bitcoin went to 52,000 or started moving that direction, don't be surprised if this is over 60 or 65. I think personally, like I told you before, if Bitcoin's sitting at 52 cents, this is going to be sitting at 70 cents. And a lot of people laughed at me. I, a lot of people. Sniper didn't. And I even had a thing on Swing Traders Anonymous where we talked about this several times. I talk about it on my uh, Future Millionaire page, but that video got less than 300 views, which it is what it is. But I mean, this is up since that, since, I mean, and Sniper Cop in touch about it, but this is up so much and nobody listened. I mean, those were my lines I was drawing. That's how low it was. We were below all of these, way below. This is where we talked about. And if it didn't break out of the channel down, it was going up and this was our path if it went down. Like we talked every single angle. And then if we could get up into the channel, and that's exactly what we did. And then we talked about if we could break up, and we actually broke up. We had drawn this out before we broke up. But we had both scenarios. Had it broke down, we already knew the channel it was going in. So Sniper knows we did our due diligence on this one. And then it had a fake out down, which ended up being like an inverted head and shoulders like Doge is on. And that's why I have so much hope for Doge, because it hasn't had this part yet. I'm not saying it's going to do all of that. But what I am saying is we nailed this. This entire fucking way. And I even showed the way it was. It was in an ascending triangle. Which as it turned out was a continuation pattern. And being a continuation pattern. It had the length of that flagpole that it was starting to create. Or the triangle I should say. And it fucking broke up the entire way of it. Now it's in discovery. Now who the fuck knows how high it's going to go. And it don't look to be done to me. It has a firm double bottom there. Again, if, if I was Sniper, if you're in this, I wouldn't be selling this just yet. I know it had a big run just now, but I'm telling you, something tells me that at the end of the day, we're going to be up here somewhere. I really believe it. I think it's, I really think it can. And if Bitcoin keeps going, if Bitcoin, I, I have no doubt if Bitcoin gets to 55 or 57, that this would be way the fuck up here at a dollar. This has a lot of momentum, and this is the artificial intelligence. I don't talk a lot about it, but, you know, I there you go. I gave it to you on the XRP Future Millionaire page again because I get excited when it runs because I know Sniper buys it, and I know I don't get to talk about it enough. So, Sniper, honestly, that is looking really bullish. If you get a close over 60 cents, look out on the daily. I'm just telling you right now, if this close over 60 cents, it's probably going to go to 70. It might have retraces along the way, but this is no, by no means is this done. And that volume surge was spectacular. A spectacular retrace as well on the volume. That's exactly what you want it to look like. A firm ascending double bottom. This looks absolutely fantastic. That is one of the most bullish patterns you're going to get at the top of a run. This looks beautiful. This looks like it's got another 30% on top of it. Because this, it, it looks like even if it came to do a head, it's going to have to have an extended head. It's my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. Should you take my advice? No motherfucking way you should. And if you do choose to take my advice, do it based on what the charts are saying. Because right now the charts are saying AGI looks sexy as hell. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, it's already been running, so we got to buy support levels. You know... <laughs> But we already know one of the huge support levels are. I, fuck, man, that looks real juicy. I wouldn't want to buy it now, but I would. But I would much rather, this would be like if Doge ran up this much. I'm glad I'm in it. Let's see what happens. But if I'm not in it, fuck, it's ran up a lot. Already. It's 
thing's up like 500%, ladies and gentlemen. This is the single greatest call I ever made that nobody paid attention to except Sniper. I was saying this when it was at 15 fucking cents at the bottom right here. I, oh man, I had it all drawn out for everybody. Look at that. And I showed every reason why it was going to go up and nobody listened. And I said if I could buy it, I would buy this one over anything else. I kept saying it. And then it ran up and I was pissed. Because I only use uphold, so if it's not an uphold, I don't buy. But fuck, these, this chart was such a... Look at that. And then it made a bullish move down to support. Every single time it was about to run up. And then it even made this very nice bottom right here. And I'm like, guys, this is getting ready, man. And then it did every fucking step of the way. It even ran up to some spots faster than I thought it was going to run up to. But Sniper knows we caught on to this volume picking up right here. And we're like, holy fuck. So he's up. He's got to be up fucking 400% on this thing. Maybe a little less, but this is his baby. I know some others told him that this was a pile of shit. He knows who I'm talking about. Other people on YouTube. And I told him, Sniper, you've got a fucking gem here. Don't listen to them. Tune that noise out except for what I'm telling you. And now he's up fucking almost 400. Man, oh man. this is the single greatest one I've done because it did it in so... Such a small amount of time. It rivals what happened with XRP when people first started watching the channel. XRP was sub 50 cents. I told him every reason why not to sell it every step of the way. And then I told him every reason why to sell it when it was about to come back down. And Charlie, Charlie told me, Tom, yes, Charlie. He told me that he went back four months in my database. But all he could find was when I was only ultra bullish before the crash. And he said nobody could predict the crash. Yeah, I was ultra bullish when I had to be, but I was the most bearish person on the fucking YouTube when it was about to come down. And that's like an insulting slap in the face, Charlie. Because for two months, I took shit because XRP bounced off at 89 cents instead of going down to 52 cents. And had to run up to $1.40, which I predicted. Just not up to $1.40. I said into the top 128 range. And... But then it came back down. And it went to 52 cents. And then I got shit because people said that I didn't tell them to buy it. So I can never win. So you need to look a little bit harder, Charlie. And I know everybody who watched it, you can comment for me. So if there's anybody who's watching this to the end, you're a vital part of my input. Tell Charlie, if you were around back then, that in fact, the XRP Future Millionaire from $1.60, $1.70 was telling you XRP was going to crash down to 52 cents. And then worse after a bounce back up. I said all of this. Nobody can predict how high up and down the bounces are going to go. But I said it was going to bounce off 52. I said I thought it could also hit 48 cents. And that was the bottom price. But the initial price target is 52 cents. It's no different than right now with XRP. It's at $1.23. It could bounce, right? Like right now it's at a dollar. Where's XRP? This is a perfect example. It's at $1.29. While our support's at $1.23... But it could go back down to $1.16 or $1.18 on that low level that would be kind of like if we break this, we're fucked. And XRP was at that point, but it double bottomed. And when it got to $0.58, cents, we all had to change our opinion. The $0.48 cents was out the window. So don't let past mistakes predict future uh, trends. Stay blessed, everybody. Oh, yeah, and what you can help me with is um in chat... Yes or no? Say yes. I remember when you predicted XRP or the crypto market to crash because I predicted Charlie to put it in better terms. Bitcoin was well over sixty thousand, and I said it was gonna go sub thirty thousand. And then I said after a bounce up, that it was gonna come down even farther and it was gonna go sub twenty thousand. And then I said after it goes up again, it's gonna come down and probably go sub fifteen and maybe ten. So go back to the archive and get your facts straight before you start quoting my shit. Stay blessed.